Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So last week I went on to a huge haul and if you guys haven't seen that video, please check it out. But don't go! Please watch this video first. Anyways, so I went on to a huge haul last week and bought a pack of clear crayons. Clear crayons. Have you guys heard of a clear crayon before? Because I haven't. I don't know about you guys, but I get intrigued by things that are very clear. I also got something that's called a clear eraser and oh my gosh, it's so transparent. I can literally see through the other side. There was a bigger pack with more colors, but I just wanted to check it out so I got the smaller one. If I happen to like it, I might buy more. But let's check these out first. It's my first time using these. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I want to try making a few drawings. So without further ado, let's start drawing using clear crayons. Let's get started. Okay, so here is how it looks close up. Let me open it. And the reveal. Dun, da -da -da. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at this yellow. You could definitely see the other side. I've never seen such crayons before. It's so interesting. Like orange too. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but it is quite transparent. Like I can read these words from the other side. Interesting. And red. They're so pretty. These colors are definitely more opaque than the other colors, but you can kind of see the light through. Here I have some paper. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna start with red and swipe. Hmm. Okay, and orange. It's so creamy. It's like really buttery. Yellow. That is so bright. I did not expect this. This is like neon yellow. Light green, green. Ooh. This green is more like an emerald green. So this is blue, aqua blue. Ooh, okay. I love these colors. And purple, pale orange, and brown. Hmm. So these are all the colors that I have. So right off the bat, I just have to say they're really creamy, like super creamy. It was like as creamy as a lipstick. Normal crayons are a lot more thick and opaque. It's just more light and delicate. And since it's my first time playing with these, I actually went on Google and looked it up how to use them. So apparently the biggest difference is how creamy and blendable they are. So with your fingers, you can kind of blend it in. <gasps> Ooh, okay, you cannot do that with normal crayons. That is so pretty. It makes like a very dreamy effect. It kind of looks more like watercolors. It's like watercolor without using any water. So it's really easy to work with. And the emerald green. See, look how blendable they are. You could kind of like blend everything together. Let me blend it a little bit more. My finger. So if you want like a watercolor effect, but you're not really good at using watercolors, this may solve your problem. And the yellow, the yellow is so bright. It's like neon yellow. I don't have any residue on my fingers. I mean, maybe a little, but like close to none. And also, it could kind of like draw on top of each other, like so. And then kind of blend it in. I did not know crayons can do that. It blends in so nicely. And it feels so nice too. It's like so buttery. It's like playing with butter, kind of. And before I start drawing, I want to try coloring in this coloring book. It's a Disney coloring book for adults. Ooh, it's right in the middle. I think these crayons are perfect for this page. It's the floating lanterns. And since these can make a very dreamy effect, it's going to be perfect. So let me try like one lantern. Oh, I'm gonna start off with yellow, pale orange, and orange. And I'm gonna like blend it in. And maybe like some blue and a darker blue. Blending it all together. Blend it, blend, blend. The thing is, I don't have black. So I can't make like a black sky. Let me blend it in. Okay, so what I noticed. It's kind of harder to work with with this paper. So remember how it looked like on the sketchbook? 
and you could kind of like smudge everything in that you can't see the strokes anymore. But with this paper, it was kind of harder to blend. I really wished it worked better on this paper. Coloring book would have been like perfect. And also, I need more colors. Oh, I knew I should have gotten the bigger one. I used the same exact colors and they turned out very different. So there's a lot of ways to use these colors. I just need black. I need to go back and buy black. Anyways, hmm, what should I draw? Hey guys, it's Minori from the future. When I bought these crayons, I had this idea in my mind. I kind of wanted to make like a doodle, like nothing too complicated. And I wanted to color the sky with purple and blue because they look so pretty when blended together. So here's this girl holding a leaf like an umbrella. I didn't make any rough draft or sketch, so I'm just going with the flow. And I, um, oops. It's so important to not have any residue on your fingers or your blending tools when blending in colors, mostly when you're working with lighter colors like yellow, like, duh, because it's going to look muddy. And when I was coloring her hair, I guess I happened to have a little bit of red on my finger and her hair got a little bit messed up. So I originally wanted to make her hair blonde, but I decided to cover it up by adding some brown. And the background. It looks so pretty with these crayons and colors, like exactly how I imagined it to be. Honestly, I needed a little bit more colors, a lighter blue, some pink. Pink would have been nice. And definitely like a darker color like black or gray. And lastly, for the final touches, I added in the rain using white pen. Since crayons are oil-based, obviously it's kind of hard to use pen on top of it because oils and inks are like, no, 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 they don't go together. But I kind of managed to work with it. I think it turned out really cute. Like, I could see this in a children's book. A story about... about... Samantha walking in the rain, meeting new friends, like the frog. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, moving on. Next up, I wanted to draw something more realistic, something with a different touch. So I decided to draw flowers. I know I don't really draw realistic drawings on this channel, and I honestly don't know what I'm doing like most of the time, but I'm just challenging myself and trying to step out of my comfort zone. Oh, by the way, I've gotten a lot of requests asking me to do like a Q&A. I probably won't be making a dedicated video for Q&A, but I could be answering some questions here and there in some videos like right now. So please comment below if you have any questions. I mean, I probably won't be answering very personal stuff, but here's some questions that I get almost every video. Why can I speak English? I grew up in the States. Where are you from? I'm from San Francisco, but I'm currently living in Tokyo, Japan. Where can I find your other channel? My other channel is called Mini Cute Club. I post there more often, but all of the videos are in Japanese. Except for some when I first started. Okay, back to the video. So when I googled how to use these crayons, I learned that these aren't used for precise coloring. Instead, they're mostly used for making blobs and kind of going over the lines. I know the yellow and the coloring is way over the line, but that is just on purpose. I could definitely see this drawing on like a card, maybe? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Finally, what is a Minori video without a manga anime style drawing? If you guys are new here, hi! Thank you so much for watching, but I really like drawing manga anime type of art. And don't you say manga anime style is not art! because that's what a professor at University of Pennsylvania said to me in my face. And while I left that class very politely, I was raging inside. I mean, what kind of art teacher would say such thing? He was like, every single manga looks exactly the same and has no personality. Excuse me, really? Okay, if you say Naruto and One Piece looks exactly the same, I think you have a problem. <laughs> okay, okay, anyways. I'm using my blue lead that I bought last week, and again without any rough draft or anything, I'm just going with the flow. I didn't really have an idea in mind, but while I was drawing, it kind of reminded me of a mermaid. And since the transparent blue will make the perfect ocean-like background, that is what I decided to go for. Honestly, crayons aren't the best tools to use to draw in manga anime style art, but I think it turned out so dreamy and pretty. The eyes were a little tricky because of the size, but I kind of covered up any mistakes at the end using the white pen. Overall, I had so much fun with these crayons, so I definitely recommend you guys trying them out.
so after a few hours, these are how it turned out. I actually really like how they turned out. It's so dreamy and it's very different from my usual drawings and it was just fun to play with. Ugh. I need more colors. I definitely need like a pink. I also want like a black to make it deeper. There's just so much more I could do with more colors. Maybe I'm going to go back to buy the bigger pack. Okay, it was fun. I like it. Okay, I think we're done for today. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!